Hello everyone and welcome to All Things Medicare, brought to you by Statewide Insurers Group. I'm Joey Bright, your host. Cheryl Brazel's with us tonight to give us some insight on what to do next after annual enrollment period. Cheryl is one of the owners of Statewide. You know, it's interesting. All of us have been watching TV and the only thing we have seen is TV commercials about Medicare Advantage. We've seen, mm -hmm. uh, who was the quarterback? Joe Namath, Joe Namath. he sold us. We've yeah. seen all of the companies out there. But the question comes to us that we're going to propose to you tonight, well, what happens next? You've had all of this time to purchase a Medicare Advantage, sure. Right. We're in a situation now that, okay, we've got the plan. But the question comes to mind, is it the plan we need? Is it the right plan? Is my doctor involved? We invited Mr. Brazel to come on tonight to answer some of those questions. So I guess, Cheryl, to start with, what would you say would be next going into right this new period? Good question, man. Great question. Um, we just happen to be coming into starting in January from January the 1st through March the 31st is what we call the Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. Uh, and it is designed so that if you purchased a Medicare plan, a Medicare Advantage plan, and you got caught up in the hoopla and maybe didn't mm. read all the fine print and uh, all the disclaimers, and you realize that you might have made a mistake, this gives you an opportunity to make a change. So you're telling the audience and me, this is new to me, Cheryl. Mm. You purchased a Medicare Advantage through annual enrollment. Everybody mm -hmm. remembers now, Oct 15 to December 7th. Right, right. Well, that's come and gone. In mm -hmm. fact, our seniors, our veterans, Pearl Harbor Day, yep. December 7th. So now we're moving on, and I've got this plan. And you mean if I don't like it, I find out my doctor's not in it, I've got a time. What time frame is that, Cheryl? I think you just mentioned Yes, it. sir. It's the actual time period that you can change your plan is from January the 1st through March the 31st of 2021. So, all right, let's play the devil's advocate. What happens, I find out I don't like what I do. Mm -hmm. If I'm that consumer sitting in the audience now, what do I need to do for statewide? Call me. We, uh, That's simple enough. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We well, have telephones. Happen? What they would do happen work. at that time if they do call you? That's a great thing. We have fun here, too. Insurance yes. can't be all boring. But if they call you and, hi, I'm Mr. Jones. I don't like my Medicare Advantage plan. I was told from the TV show, Mr. Brazel, I can change. Right. What would happen then? Uh, we just sit down with you because there's some things I want to, you know, find out what's What's the problem? You know, what what is the issue that you have with that plan, uh, and just you know see what we can do to uh, to alleviate that problem. Obviously, you know there are a lot of Medicare Advantage plans out there, oh, a lot of different companies that that do this, and we can find something that works. You know, for your situation. You know, maybe your doctor may not be in that particular network mm -hmm. of the plan you purchased. Uh, maybe it does not really address the prescriptions. That, oh. that you take. They're great points. Yeah. Well, what happens, because we saw, all of us saw on the screen, um, 
help me, Cheryl, the free transportation. You mm -hmm. get um, um, uh, f transportation food, you get vision, you get right. dental, you right. get hearing, you get all of these list of things. Is it really that you get that, a portion of it, and all of a sudden you realize, you know, I got this and don't know how to use it, mm -hmm. and I don't even know if my doctor's in the plan. Right, right. And we're able to, one, we can go through your plan and see what dental plan, uh, dental benefits you have, what vision benefits That's you may have, mm -hmm. because they're different from plan to plan. They are different. Some plans will have a richer transportation benefit and not so much dental. Uh, I, I spoke to, I have a couple of clients in Maryland that I talked to today, and you know, she was talking about, she says, well, you know, I need the vision is the emphasis for me mm. says my husband needs he has a certain doctor that he wants to go to and he needs help more of a dental plan or, or dental benefit in his plan than, than I'm worried about mm. and uh, he also she also wanted eyeglasses or you know help help with uh, vision and you know every plan is different you know you can have within the same company same insurance company may have five different Medicare Advantage plans and, and they each have you know varying uh, benefits you know based just from plan to plan we had so, a so you're lady, able to customize uh, even what you were speaking about there we had a lady call in today at the office and Cheryl she asked me to ask you this question I have purchased a Medicare Advantage plan I do not like it. I had original Medicare plan G as in girl. Mm -hmm. She wants to know, can I go back to original Medicare during this period, January 1st mm -hmm. to March 31st? The short answer is yes. She can go back to original Medicare and she can look into purchasing a Medicare supplement to replace the Medicare Advantage plan. There will be a few more hoops to jump jump through mm -hmm. if if you've had uh, like medical questions right, or what have right, you have to go down the underwriting. List. And you know we can you know offer some guidance there too because different companies have different pain points within their underwriting structure. You know things that they do not want to to insure you okay. know do, do not want to take take the risk for and so you know we kind of know different companies what things they like what they don't like and we can help guide you through that maze so you're saying original medicare and that's what we know is mm -hmm. f and g a lot of you folks out there have it but a medicare advantage plan has copays you go to the doctor you mm -hmm. contribute a deductible mm -hmm. okay if you have original medicare and you're coming back to well, let me change this for the listening audience. You have a Medicare Advantage and you want to come back home mm -hmm. to original Medicare. Mm -hmm. Is there any penalty? There's not a penalty. It's just, again, you have to work with the underwriting situation. Okay. You know, that's it's not a guaranteed issue. It's so not a guaranteed issue in, in that instance. Now, there, we'll talk about it a little bit, but there is a situation mm -hmm. where you do have a guaranteed switch you know, that, that, that can be done within the framework of the Medicare Advantage Correct. and the original Medicare. Yeah. Okay, last question that I have here before break. The young lady writes in and she says, Joey, would you ask Mr. Braswell tonight if I have a Medicare Advantage and I go to original Medicare, do I have to buy another prescription drug plan since I have given up my drug plan with what? My Medicare Advantage. You can purchase a standalone prescription drug plan and going point. back with original right right okay so let me make that clear for Joey if I have a Medicare Advantage and I don't like it mm -hmm. during January 1st to March 31st mm -hmm. I'm able to come back home to my original right. Medicare I do have to go through some medical questions yes. as Mr. Brazel was saying and then if I didn't like what I had I could buy a separate drug plan to complete my package right because if I understand correctly, your original Medicare, you walk to your doctor, surgeon, hospital, you lay your cards on the table. If you have an F, 
You walk in, you have, have your service, yep. pick up your cards and walk out. If you have a plan G as in girl, you have a $198 one time a year deductible. Mm -hmm. And after that, if I'm correct, everything else is paid just yep. like plan F. But the premium is anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars a month, depending on age. Mm -hmm. Less expensive. Am I close in that framework of where we're trying to go? <clears throat> yes. Uh, and I'll I'll go. I use that. You've heard me say this before. I always go back to my dad's situation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's uh, done really well. He's ninety years old a couple weeks ago, and uh, walks two or three miles every day just about two or three miles more than I walk every day. But uh, we all he, do that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's done great. And uh, he's had a Medicare supplement you know, since he was 65. And, you know, Dad's like everybody. He's had some medical situations through the years. And the, the great thing is he's had to go to, you know, Duke Hospital a couple mm -hmm. of times, mm -hmm. uh, UNC Hospitals, Wake Med a couple of times. And the great thing is that uh, you know the the grand total of what we've had to pay out of pocket has been zero, you know, other than his yearly deductible, which is you know right now about one hundred ninety eight dollars. That's uh, fantastic. That's, that's all he's you know that's had, has to pay out of pocket. So. And I think the name of the game here, Cheryl, is it's not how much money we have, but it is how much we maintain, how much we mm -hmm. keep, and still have and maximize our coverages because we yep. do have to pay the rent, we have to car, insurance, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do, a lot of things this morning that we have talked about at the office, and even we bring them to you here tonight, there's so many things that maybe we do not get across in 30 right. minutes. I'm encouraging you, pick up the phone, call statewide, let them know, I don't understand. Sure, does it cost anything for them to come in and have an appointment? Nope. No, not not, yeah. there. <laughs> not a not a, not a dime, not a penny. It uh, we sit down with you, and the good thing there is, you know, we can talk to you about you know what your health concerns are, what your prescriptions might be, and uh, look at the plans and make sure that that particular plan you know takes care of those prescriptions, and that that is really. I mean, it's it's all very important and it's all very personal because it's it's you, it's your situation. Um, but obviously, during the annual enrollment period we've just been through in the prescription drug plans, it's really important to sit down and, and look at what's going on because uh, we did. I'm trying to think of the last few we did had a person the, you know they had their prescription list. And we were able to, you know, look at the the top thirty plans that are available mm -hmm. you know, in the area. In, in that area, and the first plan for the year, you know, their their out of pocket cost, everything that cost the prescription plan, their copays on their prescriptions, was going to end up being something in the neighborhood of about sixty five to seventy dollars a month, so mm -hmm. about eight hundred dollars a year. Mm -hmm. um, as we progressed down the list of plans, it got up to where their co-pays would have been $7,000 a year. Oh. And some people don't realize they can change. You know, you can make a change. And that's why we're always, you know, beating the bandwagon in uh, September and October to come in and let us take a look at what you have and, and see if there is a, a better route for you. So that time yeah. right now would be a good time to come in even if you have questions and you've made a purchase. I do have a question. Everyone, it's on everybody's mind, COVID. Mm -hmm. I know it affects everybody and it has in our community. In your company, sanitation, six foot dif um, mm -hmm. distancing, mm -hmm. um, anything that you do a little bit different as far as letting someone come in feel, feeling comfortable that I'm in a clean environment? Um, you know, it's my, my first job every morning when I come in is to uh, wipe everything down. Mm. You know, that's the great thing about owning your own business. You get to clean it up every morning. Uh, but we do that. You know, we, we make sure that our surfaces are, are clean. And when somebody leaves, you know, between 
appointments. Between appointments, you mm -hmm. know, we, we address that situation also and, and, and take care of things. So And yes. wearing the mask and, and what have you. Mask. What, well, again, it looks like we've only been here and got started and here we are at a break. I still want to encourage everyone out there, give statewide a call because I know you have questions, concerns, mm -hmm. this new open enrollment period, 252-316-8166. Yeah. We'll be back right after this break. Stay tuned. If you recently lost your job and your health coverage due to the COVID-19 pandemic and you think you may be eligible for Medicare, you probably have more questions than answers right now. Statewide Insurers Group, All Things Medicare, can help you with that. We can provide the guidance and the answers that you need to get the benefits you may be eligible for. Don't let this time of uncertainty jeopardize your eligibility for your Medicare benefits. Remember. Relationships matter. Call Statewide Insurers Group today for the answers that you need now. 316-8166. And we're back. Mm -hmm. Glad you came back with us. You know, we call this Casual Tuesday. I hope you realize <laughs> that we're sitting up here today as insurance reps and what have you to take care of you in the Rocky Mount area. All things Medicare. Well, having said that, sometimes it's just good to meet the public, Cheryl, mm -hmm. and not have a tie on. So come to Statewide. Ask those questions. Coming into our second and closing part of tonight's program, there are changes that you can do, what we call outside of open enrollment. Now that may be something new to you because you think during this time that you've been highly publicized, mm -hmm. it's on TV all the time, I guess time's over, we can't do anything else. But Cheryl, there is something outside of the enrollment period that our listening audience can do. Yes, if you have purchased, let's say in March, you purchase a Medicare Advantage plan, you just turned 65, mm -hmm. and, and you purchase a Medicare Advantage plan. And three months or 10 months down the road, you just decide, you know, this just is not working for me. It's mm -hmm. not, not what I want, want to have, uh, you know, as my Medicare, help with my Medicare coverage. If you purchase a Medicare Advantage plan, and within the first 12 months, that you own that plan, mm -hmm. you can disenroll and go into a Medicare supplement and a, pres and a standalone prescription drug plan. And you do have, in North Carolina, you do have a guaranteed issue situation. So now that's so, important. Yes. Because remember the first section we talked about having to jump through mm -hmm. some hoops, mm -hmm. medical questions that you may or may not qualify. And now we're saying it's called a guaranteed issue? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's, that's going from the Medicare Advantage plan, the ones that you've seen, you know, advertised an incredible amount over the last month and a half, and, uh, and going to, you know, back to original Medicare mm -hmm. and purchasing a Medicare supplement and a prescription drug plan. Gotcha. So it allows you to do that even though you may not be medically able to qualify in this situation, you can qualify and, and not have to be underwritten. See, that's, for all of us, myself included, um, that's great news because a lot of people think, and maybe some of you sitting at home on the couch, well, I've done this, now I'm done for the year, but what if I don't like it? Mm -hmm. So now it sounds like, sure, we have some options yep. that, where we can actually, now how would, again, they find out about being able to change during this period? Yeah, if you'll give us a call again, you know, call us at the office. Uh, we're, you know, we're easy to find. We're at uh, 
880 Country Club Road in Rocky Mount. Uh, we're at the corner of Country Club and Hunter Hill. Hmm. We're the office is closest to the intersection. So when you're facing the buildings, we're on the far right hand end. Uh, and I think you've got a big sign up there that does say, come on in, statewide insurance mm -hmm. group. Mm -hmm. Understood. Is yep. there a food or a landmark that somebody might know that's across from you? What do we got? Pizza Inn across the street from us? I believe that is a Pizza yeah. Inn. Okay. It was Pizza Good Inn deal. there. Good deal. Yeah. Um, continuing on into another topic as where we are here tonight. As Cheryl's father, and we both are blessed to have our mothers and our, my mother and father, Cheryl, of course, his father, as we age, things change. We realize that if we don't stay on top of things, we need assistance. Yep. So Cheryl, the question would be, if someone does need assistance and they've gone into a nursing home with an original Medicare, I'm talking about an F or a G, mm -hmm. a Frank or a girl, mm -hmm. which pays for everything, that's defined as you make one monthly premium and then show your cards and receive your service. Right. Now, if that person has gone into a facility, does that continue to pay? Do they need assistance? How does that work with original Medicare okay. and the actual card itself? Uh, what You do have some coverage mm -hmm. through your original Medicare and, and you know, using your Medicare supplement. Uh, you have approximately a hundred, I want to say 111, I believe it's 111, mm -hmm. it might be 120 okay. days of coverage in a, you know, skilled nursing facility. So that's what we were talking about, skilled right. nursing. So the first right. 120 days, pretty much taken care of. Yes. In that ballpark, mm -hmm. give mm -hmm. or take, plus or minus five. And, you know, that's where, at that point, you know, you've got to have other means means of, of, of taking care of that, be it a, a long-term care policy or, you know, assets that you may have that you've set aside for medical, um, you know, that, that's, that's And the reason I asked there. that, ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl, was because the call came in and we had actually sold her the policy. And she thought that policy itself would pay for all nursing home right. situations. Mm -hmm. And we just needed, and we were asked tonight, Mr. Browswell, thank you, to make that very clear that your Medicare will pick up a lot of the issues, mm -hmm. but it will not pay for after that period of time, right. coming in a hospital stay a minimum of three days, and then you're right. moved to a skilled nursing facility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it becomes permanent, there are other situations right. that you must look at. Yeah. So again, I encourage you, take a look at what you have, mm -hmm. write down the questions, or even better, Give Mr. Browswell a call at Statewide Insurers right. at 252-316-8166 and find out what really, I guess the best way, Cheryl, to say it is find out what kind of policy you have. Right. Because if you don't understand it, mm -hmm. Cheryl, it really can't work for you. No, and, you know, traditional long-term care coverage is it's kind of tough to qualify for it. It, it truly is. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. And there are other, there are alternatives out there that you that you can use that do provide, you know, that coverage that you need to to be able to to meet the expenses of a of nursing facility. Yeah, and we can help you with that. We can give you guidance on that. We've, I've done quite a few of those. And it seems very private years. and personal. It Does is. your company take it from that level when you come in, the Privacy Act, where you're able oh, yes. to spend time with? Oh, yes. So feel concerned, ladies and gentlemen, that you can come in, have your privacy, and I guess, Cheryl, to get the answers to the questions mm -hmm. that you're proposing, mm -hmm. especially if we don't understand what our policy actually covers. Right. And we can, you know, we can look at that. Um, let you, you know, help you understand the details of what you're doing. You, you have no obligation to me. Uh, There's no charge to, for any of this to do business with me. There's not a, not a charge for it. Uh, I would just you know. Well, we'll I would we'll think make, that we'll idea sure of that coming in, having that confidence from being here on TV, mm -hmm. let alone the idea of coming in. I wouldn't want to have, and this is just me. I wouldn't want that hand to be out. Well, if you're going to hear from my advice, I need you to pay me. 
And there's a lot of that out mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. Cheryl. Mm -hmm. It's good to know statewide yeah. will invite you in and try yeah. to give you some advice. And in other words, they yep. don't have to do business with you no. to nope. kind of get put on the right road. Nope, nope. I just saw. Uh, I've, I've run into situations you know, through the years where people did not have what they need. They thought they had it, and you know, were ended up in in terrible financial straits because they did not have you know what was necessary and uh you know it, it can it can break you it can financially ruin you i guess that goes back to where i held these up to showing you the audience your actual policy mm -hmm. and cheryl i have to agree what you just said is very factual if you don't know what's inside your policy and i'm talking about a medicare advantage mm -hmm. a prescription drug plan original medicare nursing home, mm -hmm. long-term care. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cheryl, even me sitting here listing these things, it's confusing for me. I right. know that our listening audience, right. this will be, you'll have questions, you'll have concerns. So I guess in preparing us, it looks like we've been told we've got one minute left. <laughs> I don't know, we get in front of you and the time just flies. We enjoy sure. passing that information on. Sure and the wealth and knowledge of what Mr. Browswell brings to the table. I wish I had it, but he has answered so many questions of what you have called in and asked. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you, even right now, if you need to, there's people at the office, sales, yep. answers, etc. And I'm gonna turn it over to Cheryl to close it, but remember, Statewide Insurers Group, we are a local company, locally owned by local people right here in the community, Nash County. Reach out to us for questions you may have for all of the topics that we talked about. And that's at 252-316-8166. One more time, 316-8166. Cheryl, any last remarks you'd like to, in closing the show, sir? Um, Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Oh, what a great... <laughs> <laughs> Bless you all. Merry Christmas really? to you. Merry Christmas Tune in. To you. Give us a call. Thanks for your time. We enjoyed being in front of you tonight and answering your questions. Good night now. Good night.